How do there guys and welcome back to Edgar TV and today we're going to talk about equipment again. The last couple of weeks we've done some experiments on some flights and some stems. We're going to revisit flights, look in a little bit more depth in the near future. But today we're going to look at the weight of the dart. Now, key thing to remember here, the, the information I'm giving you isn't based on here. So don't think about the dartboard, do not think about the scoring. I saw a couple of people mention things in the comments section on previous videos talking about how they've made certain changes and they had an instant result. That's because you're looking at a result on this side of the hockey. What we need to do is we need to look on this side. So when we're looking at our equipment or we're looking at any changes we make, we're purely looking for that in terms of the flight of the dart, the landing of the dart. Don't look at where they land. If you start in the load of treble 20s, don't think you've cracked the code. Look at the flight of the dart. And that is pure what we're looking at today, looking at the facts and the information and the stories that we can see. So maybe you could apply some of these to your own game or maybe look at your own equipment in, in regards to that. So it's not looking at trying to go a quick fix. If you get a quick fix, ignore that. Look at the flight of the dart. That is the important thing here. Today, we're going to look at the weight of the dart looking at what clues we get so that we can find the right way to dart for ourselves. What clues do we get in terms of the angle of entry, the speed of the dart? What is the difference? Now what we're going to do is we're going to use the exact same setup on the back of the dart, so the same flights and the same stems, and we're just going to change the barrel on the front. Now it's important to remember when we change the barrel on the front, this actually changes quite a lot of things. So we can't just go from a 21 gram to a 23 gram dart and think it's the exact same dart. Quite Quite often you'll see people go, oh, I've got the same dart, but it's just 21 grams. That's impossible. It can't be because you've got to have two grams gone from somewhere. Either the lengths change, the widths change, or what they tend to do is drill out the thread in the back where you put the stem in. They'll drill that out a little bit. These will all change the balance point of the dart. So it's key to remember that actually, even though the dart may be the same look and the same brand, quite often it does mean that there's something different about it. It's going to be thicker, longer, or it's going to be drilled. So like with all of these equipment based videos, the first thing we're going to do is look at the angle of entry. And you can see here we are throwing the 21 grams. These are the Edgar TV darts, my own darts. 21 grams, the darts I actually throw in a game with the setup I normally throw. And you can see here the angle of entry is just slightly lifted. We're going to take a look at where the stem attaches to the, the barrel there. Because that's probably the biggest clue in terms of the indicator, in terms of the angle of the entry from this side shot. And you can see it sort of tail up a little bit sticking up i switched to the exact same dart the edgar tv 23 gram dart so the same dart i say same dart you, you know my cues and the things that i said before these darts are actually thicker darts you can even feel it in the hand and again if you look at that connection point at the back where the barrel meets the stem you can actually see that it's sitting down a little bit more so actually the heavier dart has started to flatten the dart out a little bit more on the angle of entry into the board so pulling this up as a side by side comparison here we've got a 21 gram on this side and on this side we've got the 23 gram dart and you can see again if you look at that point that we said before that point where the barrel is connected to the stem that's probably our biggest indicator you can see how here with a 23 gram dart it is sat down a little bit more quite significantly more should we say so it's actually starting to level the dart out a little bit more now some of this will be down to the capability of the flight to deal with the heavier dart and that is something else we've got to consider so with this in mind i thought well let me find a dart that's got a very similar balance point that I could throw that was 25 gram darts. And then I'll do the same and go lower, maybe with an 18 gram dart. And we'll see actually if this is the same sort of thing. Does the lighter dart stand up a little bit more and the heavier dart laid down? There is only one way to find out and that was to do it. So I, I throw in for a good 20, 30 minutes here and then just clipped a bit of footage to show you here. And you'll see one of the big characteristics is inconsistency inconsistency in the angle of the entry of the dart again don't worry about where they're landing the angle here you'll see quite upright you'll see some flat you'll see an inconsistency in the angle of the, the dart going in now some of this is going to be down to the equipment i'm using such as the barrel probably being too heavy for the type of flight that i've got and i'll cover this in a future video as well for what 
dart so suitable for what weight and what flight and things but you can see here like they have one angled in one angled flat next one angled up as well when i go back to an 18 gram dart you'll see actually that the consistency is back and it's more controlled a lot more control in terms of the angle of the entry into the board with the a lighter dart that clearly suits that setup a lot better you see a nice consistent angle of entry but let's go back to what we're looking at here the 21 and the 23 gram dart so we've looked at the angle of entry let's now have a look at the speed of the dart to see if there's any difference in how long it takes the dart to leave my hand and penetrate the dartboard so even though i've got some data on me throwing this normal setup that i do in terms of the speed i did it again just to make sure and just to make happy that today's date is different. You know, as you might see, I've been lifting some weights and things, you know, so it might change slightly. But um, the 21 grams you'll see here at the side, upright, average speed of 0.32 seconds, which is pretty much exactly where we was before um, in terms of the average speed on those. Now, when I look at the 23 gram darts, we can see they are flatter with an average speed of 0.37 so actually slower through the air and i know you might think that you know 0.05 of a second isn't much of a difference but actually in a percentage it is 14.49 percent slower with a 23 gram dart with the same setup going to the board so that is going to make a significant difference 14 and a half percent difference there so you may notice that if you use a heavier dart darts may drop a little bit lower to begin with unless you put a little bit more into it for example so we're already starting to get some interesting findings here let's have a look at how the dart travels through the air between the 21 and the 23 gram dart to see if there's any sort of difference in the flight pattern or if it's pretty much straight as a die so there is a difference in the flight of the dart let's have a look at this so first of all we've got a slow motion here of a 23 gram dart now the significant thing to watch here is look at the flight of the dart and the point of the dart you'll see here as the dart goes through the air that the flight drops lower and the point sticks up so the dart changes from like an arch into a sticky look here we go look there you see the points up the flights down and then it sort of corrects itself on its way through to the board so it sort of goes up and then it kicks in to take over so the actual point of the dart stands now when we look at that with the 21 gram dart just watch the dart in the air here see watch how it stays flatter and smoother all the way through obviously more suitable to the equipment and things that is one thing i'm finding a little bit with this experiment that the, the different the heavier the dart i go the less that the flight is able to stabilize and support that dart which might be a reason you see a lot of top professionals play with lighter darts and also anyone who does play with a heavier dart always has a bigger flight on the back as well so i'm gonna need to do a follow-up to this video because i think it'll be a little bit inconclusive we've got some findings the 23 grams they are going to land they're landing flatter um they're taking longer to get to the board and they are doing a little bit of a dance in the air they're not going through the air as smooth as i'd like them to certainly like you saw with the 21 grams it was like a nice sort of smooth one consistent arc without any flicks or dancing of the point or the dart on on the route so if you are enjoying these videos guys please do hit the subscribe button there will be more coming so far if you haven't seen already we've covered some flights information some stems information and as i've said already we will be covering looking at what flights are suitable to what weight of dart because i think that has to be a follow-on from this video because i think it's a bit of an inconclusive one in terms of being able to put a suggestion or recommendation in based on the fact that we need that data first. So that will be an experiment coming. Also, we're going to look at some points and other elements of equipment. So make sure you subscribe right here on Edgar TV. And there'll be another one of these sort of videos next week because they take a long time to put together.